How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to Black Butler Book of Circus. We are rapidly approaching the end of this season, which is unfortunate because I feel like we really just started watching this show together. It's also unfortunate that the best season is also the shortest by far, and that after this, we just have two more movies, and then we're done until season four comes out. But I think season four is really only a few months away, so it will be cool to be caught up by the time that comes out. Also, some quick housekeeping before I get into the show, I have a podcast that I don't plug nearly as much as I should called Otaku's Anonymous, where me and fellow anime YouTuber NC Hammer 23 talk about anime, movies, video games, Whatever, it's very chaotic, very fun. You should check that out if you're looking for more content from me. You should also check that out if you want to see me talk about newer anime that come out week to week, like Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, ZOM 100, Shangri-La Frontier, etc. I mostly cover older anime on this channel just because it's easier to not have to wait for episodes to come out each week. So if you want to see me talk about more contemporary anime, make sure you check out Otaku's Anonymous. And now, on in the show. It's me, Joker. I've come home, father. So I have recently been informed that Joker is actually voiced by Matt Mercer. And in light of this information, and despite this information, I would like to inform all of you that I will be no less mean about his accent going forward. Oh, what? You think because you host Critical Role I'm gonna give you some special treatment? You arrogant fool. Walking around with your long hair and tight vests and multitude of wristbands. Getting to sit down and talk to Laura Bailey and Sam Regal and... It should have been me hosting Critical Role, not you! Me! We think he may have seen your letter with the target's details. And if they are with the Yard, we can't just dispose of them. That would put the circus in danger. I like that this kid's just got the nail file on deck ready to go at a moment's notice. This kid's got one job and he's probably hyped anytime he gets to do it. Probably sees that hand coming and he's like, Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. File time, baby! Oh, this time! You fool! That boy you had right under your nose is CL Phantom High! Oh my god, it's... It's this man! Who is this? Hush? Shout out to all my Batman Hush fans out there. No, I'm sure he's actually some guy from that cult that branded CL. Well, that means Noah's Ark is in danger. We need to tell the others. Please, Father! Joker, you aren't speaking back to me, are you? <laughs> oh God, is this dude about to give Joker some crazy punishment? The lot of you were born with nothing. Poor, broken wretches with no future. I raised you, gave you bodies that were whole. Exposition about his own life seems like a pretty tame punishment. Give us a smile. He said, give us a smile, you mopey bitch. You know how expensive a photo was in the 1800s? God, you ruined his whole photo, you self-centered prick. You arrogant bastard. You fu- It should have been me hosting Critical Role! I can do silly accents too! Oi! It's me! Tom Holland! Wasn't that quirky? Wasn't that immersive? Hurry, Beast. <laughs> Aren't you finished packing yet? It's been an age. Not yet, I'm sorry. Honestly, you're worse than Doll sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there. Uh, nobody is worse than Doll. I got a lot of comments in the last few videos from people who were upset that I kept ragging on Doll. Zing. But if she wants to walk around wearing her best Mark Twain cosplay, then I'm gonna call her out for looking dumb. We won't be around tonight, so you're in charge. If you make a mess of things, I'll bloody kill ya. That's asking a lot, but I'll try. As Emily says, we'll do our best. Hey, wait a second, what are you trying to pull? I didn't hear any hisses. Either this guy's lying about being able to talk to snakes, or he's speaking for Emily before she even says anything. And I will stand for neither. I hope you shan't be away too long. Uh, I'll keep the bed warm for you. Goodness, Emily, that's forward. First off, Emily, behave. Girl, you are way out of his league. This man will not know how to handle your curves. Emily is one long curve. You really think the Lucky Charms mascot over here will know what to do with it? Second, you're cold-blooded, Emily. You ain't warm and shit. Ain't you popular, Dagger? Good on you. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't want to be popular with poisonous snakes. And that thing's cold-blooded anyway. How is it supposed to warm my bed? Wow, I can't believe the show immediately confirmed both of my points. Also, I like how the short guy runs up like, Hey, not bad, Dagger. I didn't know you had it in ya. I have been trying to fuck this snake for weeks. You're a lucky man, Dagger. A damn lucky man. 
You are not as kind to your master as I am. You should be a kinder Kansama. I'm not kind enough. Is that so? Not lately. You've been a real prick this season. Not that CL doesn't deserve it, mind you. You should stop being such a cold Kansama and coddle CL! Be nice, is that so hard? In what world is CL not coddled? Yeah, Sebastian's been kind of a dick lately, but CL is far from neglected. Be kinder to him. Spoil him and coddle him. No, Sebastian. Stop it. Stop it right now. If the only character growth that happens in this entire show is that Sebastian learns he needs to coddle CL more, I will sue Japan. I will sue Japan for emotional and physical damages. We have a creamy three mushroom risotto and a pork and wine pot of feu. And for pudding, we have a delicately spiced warm apple comboed with yogurt. With yogurt, he says. There's no way that's how English people say yogurt. Is it, Tom? Is that how they say it? Yogurt. I was only doing as Prince Soma advised. He told me that poorly children should be lavished with kindness. You don't care for it, my lord. I can do without that kindness. How is this any different from how Sebastian normally treats you? By the by, Tanaka rang around four o'clock and I took a message. Oh, so Sebastian dressing you every morning is fine, but the moment he blows on your yogurt, that's a hate crime. I'll give you one of these to celebrate you joining us. There's caramel, milk, and strawberry. Which one do you want? Caramel, then. Thank you. By the way, I'm glad they replayed this clip, because I don't think I ever mentioned just how wild it is that CL chose caramel over strawberry. Absolutely psychopathic behavior. Don't ever let me catch one of you choosing caramel over strawberry if we ever meet. I will genuinely put you in the ground for your safety, my safety, and the safety of our entire nation. As is my right, nay, my duty as an American citizen. This doll is the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. Why would anybody own this? <gasps> that doll was the second most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. Why would anyone own a room like this? Oh, this is a very special 1875 vintage. I'm sure you recognize your birth here, my lord. I do hope I haven't gone too far. You certainly have. That was insanely creepy. Maybe it wouldn't have been so creepy if we didn't have to walk through your dull graveyard of a living room, but we did, so it is. Be a good lad, Joker, and put on your show. I... my show? Just do it, understand? <laughs> what are you? He just ate the whole shell off of a lobster. What is he, some kind of actual monster? I hope you're ready. Tonight's a night like no other. We'll whisk you away to a world of enchantment and great feats of daring. Hey, Joker. They know. They were literally in your circus. I know father's making him do this, but all this preamble seems a little unnecessary, considering Sebastian and CL were literally a part of this act. For our first act, we have our tightrope walker. And you'll notice there's no safety net. It's life or death, folks. Wow, never mind, that's super different from the usual performance. I also like how Joker's like, you'll notice there's no safety net. How about you'll notice this girl sucks at tightrope walking? This girl took two steps on the tightrope and then requested a refund on her life. <laughs> Next up, our lion tamer. CL, don't let him cycle through every performance before you do something. What, are you just gonna sit there and watch like six kids die before you step in? Was seeing one kid die not enough to arrest this man? Watch as he musters the savage beast. <laughs> okay, but that kid deserved to die. You gotta at least try and tame the lion. You can't just expect it to show up well behaved. <laughs> Stop him! Oh, what, this one you stop? What, did you not think the lion was gonna eat that last kid? Had to find some way of bringing the circus home, did you? I'm sorry, if the show isn't to your taste then, a joker clean up this mess at once. I like how this guy's just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Are you not into this? Wow, my bad. I completely misread the room. We're finished here. 
I never realized there was a form of life even more vile than a rat. I... what? I don't understand it. Kid, can we back up here? Because I'm super confused. I invited you to my house. I showed you my circus, and now you're mad at me for some reason. Somewhere, our wires got crossed, and I'm just so sorry about that. And I saw fit to dispose of him. <laughs> God, CL was just about to blast this dude in the face! Where the hell was this energy in season one, CL? How many times have I literally begged you to shoot somebody? You wanted to meet the other children! They're in the cellar! I'll take you there at once! I have something down there I want to show you, and this is the perfect chance! Is this about to be crazy? Is this about to be the most fucked thing I've ever seen? Here, take a look! <laughs> It took me so long to get everything just right. Okay, this is way better than what I expected. It's not great. It's for sure not great, but it's definitely better. Dear Lord Phantom Hive, after three long years, we can recreate that day. Yeah, let's totally recreate that day right now. By the way, didn't that day end with Sebastian saving the children and slaughtering everybody else in the room? That seems like a very good day for CL to recreate right now. You know what day I would recreate if I could? The first day I ever started my Patreon. The first time I ever sat down in my chair, turned on my camera, and reacted to Food Wars for you wonderful people. Oh wait, never mind, it was awful. Watching Food Wars was one of the most horrific experiences of my life. And if you want to see every second of that truly mentally scarring experience, all recorded for your viewing pleasure, make sure you check out my Patreon, where you'll get to receive one exclusive reaction video each month, access to my private Discord server, and access to all the live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future. There are dozens of hours of exclusive bonus content all available on my Patreon right now for you to enjoy. Subscribing to the Patreon also just helps out the page a ton and ensures that I'm able to keep pumping out content as frequently as as I do. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still want to get more bonus content, I do have a second channel called Honestly Brutal, where I talk about video games like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, Diablo, etc. The links to all those pages will be in the description below. Make sure you check them out if you want to help support me in my pages. And now, on the next one. <laughs> Guess who's back? Let's go! Grow's back, baby! The show can get good again! <laughs> You're really wound up, aren't you? I take it you're glad to be released. The beast made me clean and do chores for my entire confinement. It was positively ghastly. Weren't you an actual professional butler for a while? I guess she wasn't very good at being a butler, but like still. Indeed, this is the culmination of what began that day five years ago. Oh, I'm so hyped to finally find out what all this cult nonsense was about. I'm so delighted you came. We wouldn't miss it, Lord Burton. It's quite the soiree you're putting on, old chap. And of course, I look forward to speaking with you later on our philanthropic efforts. By the way, have you any caged little boys or girls on tap? It's been quite a long drive, and I was hoping to mutilate a young boy of the age of about 11. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Is it just me or does he look just like Sebastian? Did Sebastian take on the form of CL's father? Cause that would be super fucked. I guess he doesn't look just like Sebastian, but I feel like he looks pretty damn similar to him. Hi Baron Kelvin, it's so nice to meet you. My name's CL. Hey, if a grown man ever looks at your six-year-old son like that, just like, just hit him. It's probably for the best. No one should ever be open mouth smile blushing at a child like that. Oh, Uncle Klaus is here. Well, Ciel, guten tag. It's good to <laughs> see you. Oh my God, is that Chris Sabat doing a German accent? Oh no. Oh God, no. I see. Why, it feels as if you left us ages ago. German beauties require some patience. Oh, please, God, no. I am getting vivid Yuri on Ice flashbacks here. After that, I devoted myself to investigating everything related to the Phantom Hives. 
I wanted to know what it was that made them so special. Money? Like, definitely money. If you see someone smiling in Victorian-era England, odds are it's because they're rich. It's no use. An ugly common man like me can never hope to become part of that enchanted world of night and shadow. <laughs> this is so dark. This is so much darker than the circus troupe killing all of those cops. Especially considering that I know he ends up all scarred and disfigured. I just wasn't expecting them to get into such deep psychological shit here. Benjamin! I want to touch you. This is crazy dark, guys! This started as the goofiest show I've ever seen. How dare it take this sharp of a turn? This is like if Mr. Krabs became an abusive drunk by the third season of Spongebob. You guys buried the lead on this one so fucking hard. I can't change everything at once, but in time you will have the face that you desire. Trust me, you are in good hands. I want to be someone special. I can't believe this is happening. This is such an insane backstory. This is like if you took the lyrics to the song Creep by Radiohead and then made it somebody's backstory. I'm so clenched. I'm like, I'm like a, I'm a tight little clam right now. Big jewel eyes, a slight fragile body. That's what I will become. What do I care if my hag of a wife leaves me? Imagine. Imagine being like, yeah, I had to leave my husband after he had his face altered to look like one of his porcelain little girl dolls. And then he insults you. Imagine him trying to make you look like the freak in that scenario. No, it can't be. Was anybody injured? I'm afraid they were all killed. The Earl, his wife, and child as well. Wait, this guy had nothing to do with the house burning down? Are you telling me that the manor burning down and the cult stuff are completely unrelated? Oh my god, CL's life really does suck. My days were dust and my nights were ashes until... What are you telling me? Hush, lower your voice, you're shouting. Nobody has ever reacted that way to anything. I don't care what the news was, nobody has ever said that sentence at that octave with that tone before. Hey Danny, Baldur's Gate 3 released early. What are you telling me? Wait, no, please take me with you! If it eases your mind, the others and I will be sure to lavish extra affection upon him for you. If you'll excuse me. Oh, please don't lavish six-year-old CL with extra affection on this guy's behalf. What? What the? What the fuck? I really can't run away from banana fish, can I? It always finds a way to catch up with me. You're not well. You must take care of yourself. I'm going. Just let me go. Okay. All right. We need to have a talk, guys. Because I can no longer trust any of you to recommend me anime. First, nobody properly warned me about Banana Fish, and then nobody properly warned me about Banana This! Oh, Danny, you should watch Black Butler. It's silly and gay. You're silly and gay if you think this is the kind of shit I want to watch. I'm watching a man with no legs and no face scream and beg to be included in the ritualistic molestation of a six-year-old boy. Also, Where'd your goddamn legs go? Why was that the extra cherry on top? As if the image of him crawling, screaming, and begging to have his way with CL wasn't disturbing enough. On top of all of that, whoops, where'd your legs go? Ain't that spooky? Too spooky, Black Butler. Too spooky indeed. Please, I beg you, allow me to share their fate. Look around, I've prepared everything exactly as it was then, a perfect copy! Why has CL not pulled the trigger yet? Is your gun jammed? Are you trying and the gun's just not firing? Those are the only excuses that I would accept. And the most important part of all, you, my lord! <laughs> oh my god, it's about time! Do it again, but like way higher so that it kills him. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to please stay out of my young lord's way. Could you have asked him that before you chopped his hand off? Damn it, Sebastian! That was his good hand, too. Now this guy's gonna be walking around with two spooky skeleton hands. One skeleton hand is cool and mysterious. Some might even argue sexy. Two skeleton hands is just ridiculous. You want the same death they had? <laughs> Then you'd best prostrate yourself like the worm you are and beg a demon to kill you. 
Oh, CL, don't you be weird about this too. Just kill him. Just, I don't, I don't want him to prostrate or whatever. CL looks like one of those fucking t-shirts you get at the New Jersey boardwalk with like a Looney Tune character doing this with like a big weed leaf on their shirt. Like, I don't want to see CL go all gangster on this guy's ass. Even as we speak, the troop is on its way to your manor. <laughs> Elizabeth. Dude, Elizabeth is constantly being put in harm's way merely for existing. Merely for just living in England and knowing CL. Like, through absolutely no fault of her own, she's about to be almost turned into a doll for the second time this month. I'm real sorry, but you have to go. The orders are not to let any strangers into the manor or even onto the estate while me master's away. Oh my god, Finny's about to go sicko mode, isn't he? Are we about to see him get a rage state like Kenji and Bungo Stray Dog Season 5? They're not just any servants, they're Phantom Hive servants. Guess not. Well, it was nice knowing you, Finny. I'll always remember you as... Worse Kenji. And you don't want to cross him, I promise. So what it comes down to, mate, is you're not going anywhere. Sicko mode it is! That gave me chills. That was such a hype fucking line. So what it comes down to, mate, is you're not going anywhere. It's like if fucking Tom Holland was a Peaky Blinder. That was so badass. What is he, a demon? Is that why CL keeps them around? Because they're all incompetent demons? That was my favorite hat, you know! I needed to hide something important. Hey, Black Butler, don't make me fall in love with you. Don't do it. I am not emotionally available enough for that right now. The best I'm looking for is an anime friend with benefits. I am not looking for the type of relationship you're offering. We'll cut you in off! Wow. Damn, that was crazy. I didn't know Cigarette Guy had it in him. I knew he was good with a rifle, but I didn't think I'd ever see him blast a little girl in the side of the skull. I don't understand it. These rifles don't even have scopes on them. They caught her in one shot at this distance without scopes. There is no fucking way. It's definitely Cigarette Guy. Because there's no way, there's no possible chance Nobody go out gambling tonight, because they're not gonna find any chance. It's the cigarette guy, and I'm not even- I'm not even gonna entertain any other possibilities. So we're just gonna keep playing the show. Always follow the young master's instructions. Welcome the master every day with a manner that is spotlessly clean. You're crazy! Shut the fuck up! This show has lost its mind! You've lost it. You've gone off the deep end. You're an alcoholic, Black Butler. That is a maid's job, after all. When this place gets dirty, I get rid of the filth! Mayreen! Mayreen, you sneaky bitch! What happened? Why are you cool now? Why did your voice change? Why can you see? And that means... Those rifles up there were so she wouldn't have to waste her time reloading any of them. I love that Mayreen's doing infinite sword attack from Soul Eater, but with guns. That is so fucking sick. What's happening? No matter how far you run, you little rat, I can still see you clear as day. <gasps> You usually can't see well enough to walk in a straight goddamn line. Who are you? Does Mayreen intentionally wear glasses to impair her vision? Does Mayreen secretly have vision that's too good? What the fuck does that even mean? There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. All right. Nope. Not letting you get away with that one. Show me Tanaka murder that man. Out of all of the house servants, Tanaka is the one that I need to see go crazy. All right, that's the episodes. Hey, guess what? That was fucking bananas. This was, let me think. Banana Fish is probably legitimately the darkest thing I've watched on this channel. Other than Banana Fish, this is probably the darkest, most fucked up episode of anything I've seen. The dude begging to be a part of the ceremony with no legs and no face, and the reason he had no face, was so out of left field that I almost needed this crazy, fun twist 
to come in at the end as a palate cleanser. What? What's going on with Mayreen? What the hell, bitch? Sweetheart? Girlfriend? We gotta talk. Why are you faking blindness? As always, let me know what you thought of this video uh, in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite jokes from the video were as well. And I am uh, gonna rest my throat. Adios. Oh!